What is up guys? Welcome back. This is not where I wanted to start this episode, but we are entering Phoenix, Arizona right now in the 924S, still with no clutch. So you saw in the last episode, we drove from Gallup, New Mexico, all the way here to Phoenix uh, with no foot clutch, no clutch at all. And we've been synchro shifting it the whole way. Now we were out in the countryside for most of that. And now, we are within city limits, traffic light to traffic light. And I have never been put more to the test for synchro shifting this car up and down or starting it in first gear. So I've been praying I hit every green light. We are on our way to meet Aoife and her husband Justin to deliver the 924S and give her the keys. She's won the giveaway. Oh boy. I might need, uh, yeah, I'm gonna need both hands here. So you want to Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. All right, so we made that light. That was amazing. So Aoife won the giveaway, and to get everybody up to speed, I made a joke about, we should drive it to Phoenix. And she was like, no, you really should. So after we had a conversation about the unforeseen, about what could happen on the road, AKA possibly losing a slave cylinder and having to drive it with no clutch, she was like, I don't care. The way I see it is I bought the key rings that were to enter you for the giveaway to help support. I can't even believe I won the car, so send it. So Kayla and I sent it. And now we're in Phoenix. We're about 10 miles from her house. She knows we're coming. She hasn't seen the car yet. Even though we've got some mechanical issues with the car, she is over the moon. So I cannot wait to pull into her driveway with this car. She went out and bought a slave cylinder today because we couldn't find one in Gallup, New Mexico. I have become an absolute expert in up and down shifting this car with no clutch. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona. This episode is going to be a lot of fun because we're about to deliver the car to her and it's been an awesome project. Bag Riders was a part of this. 944 Bond was a part of this. My buddy Remco from the Netherlands came out and helped build the car. Kayla's helped out a lot on the car. So I'm super excited to give this car to her. I know a lot of you guys played along and I can't thank you enough for all the support. So this is the end of my ownership of the car. It's been an incredible trip. We've done over 2,000 miles to deliver this car. 1987, 924 S on 1985 BBS RS three piece wheels on 205 40s, small tires. We've done it. We've made it. Oh no. <laughs> Not a grind, right? We're getting there. Although now we're about to stop. All right, so let's do some downshifting, right? Third. We might need second here, but I'm gonna try to pace it. I hate the wear and tear on the starter. Here's second. Oh, we've lost it. Yeah. All right, guys, we're starting this thing in first gear at this light. Oh, it just went green. First gear, back on. This is the hardest part, guys. Tomorrow night is our Phoenix pop-up meet, the Ludwig's Garage meet, at the In-N-Out Burger that we did a pop-up meet at. In 2019, when we drove my right-hand drive 7 Series to LA from New Hampshire. All right, so we're like three blocks from her house and there was some light here and we decided to stop so I could put the center caps on because it's bad enough that we're arriving in this car in this form. I didn't want to roll up without center caps. 2,000 miles, guys, 2,000 miles in this 87 924S on small tires and 205 40s with a short geared box. This is the short fifth gear in this car. Kayla's 944 is the long fifth. Man, and that thing you can cruise at 90 miles an hour at like 2,800 RPMs. We did 2,000 miles at 75 miles an hour maybe at 4,000 RPMs all the way across America for the most part. You know, not coast to coast, but we put in some miles. Also, we lost the license plate somewhere. So we've literally driven the last, I don't know, thousand miles with no license plate. Straight up, no license plate on this car for the last thousand miles. And although you can probably just 
head out without a license plate and see how long you get stopped. But the back of the car looks pretty finished. You know, we've got a heck blend. We've got the Ludwig's garage plate here. It just doesn't have an empty plate tub. So I don't think that was really too much of an issue. But we lost it. It's somewhere in Texas somewhere. But now that we get the center caps on, we're gonna rip down the street and we're gonna get this thing in the EFIS driveway. This one right here. The destination is on your right. They're not outside. They're literally not Arrived. outside. How are they not outside? How are you not outside in the street waiting? <laughs> Holy shit! We freaking made it. We figured you were gonna be outside. <laughs> it's your car. How like, was the last the last bit? The last all of, I mean we hit plenty of red lights. It was tough getting the thing going. What's yeah. up, man? Hey, how you Good doing? to see you. How Good are you? Too. This Hi. is Kayla. Nice Hello. to meet you, Justin. Yeah. My heart is like freaking out. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I feel so bad, first of all, that this thing is arriving like in a broken state. I don't care. But it I don't care pulled into your driveway <laughs> under its own power. Like it drove here. And yeah, the last eight hour drive was literally the worst case scenario as far as driving a manual car. Yeah. But the plan was was to get here earlier with no issues. Yeah. Go to a car wash, wash it. We literally stopped at that Circle K on the corner to put the center caps on. Yeah. We drove with no center caps and we don't want to risk losing one, but the car is just filthy. We drove through Monsoon in Dallas. It's okay, I'm, it's so dark you can't tell. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true. It looks yeah. great to me. <laughs> it's been lived in. We wanted to scrub the seats down like because we've been living in this car for the last three days straight. <laughs> And it feels like the last three weeks straight. Because yeah. yeah. we did two 16 hour days in it in a row. That, with I don't know how involved. you guys do that. Because like, it's, not, it's not like it was the first time you've ever done it. No, I, no. I it's, find a four hour drive like, oh my God. It's like, not, is that over yet? Yeah, it's, I don't know why I do it. You like pain. It's apparently when they say people are, for it. When they say people are gluttons for punishment, I'm definitely a part of that. So this is it. This is. I mean, board. this. so Aoife was the giveaway winner out of 200, a little less than 200, because some people bought more than one. It. It's like a Mark II handle. You got to really squeeze it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Do you want to air it down? Oh, my God. Yeah, okay. how do I do it? All right, so... Click and hold that until you see it just about touch the top of the lip of the wheel. Yeah. A little bit more, you can go a little bit more. Yep. Oh and, 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 my God. I, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you guys didn't understand yet, when I said that Justin and Aoife were car people, I mean, there's cars littering the road <laughs> and the driveway, obviously, but inside the garage, is the clear representation of them being car people, workmeisters, you know, full kitted. So basically, garage buddies uh, with the 924S now. <laughs> so what what power is it? Uh, SR20. Oh, sick. Yeah, it's sick. But I've gone through the whole thing. That's awesome. Oh yeah, that's awesome, man. <laughs> so dusty. All right, guys. So it's the next morning, and now. We've, we've had breakfast, we've had coffee, we've gone for a walk around their area. They're here in Chandler, Arizona, so not quite Phoenix. But we got the car inside, and this morning we're going to do the slave cylinder so Aoife can at least enjoy it and drive it. So for now, we're gonna back Justin's S13 out, get the Porsche in the middle, get it up on jack stands, and start the process of getting the slave cylinder done. Starter's gotta come out. It's a few other things that kind of make it a little bit more difficult. But we're gonna get that done. Hopefully no issues. All right, so we got the 94 up on jack stands in Justin and Aoife's shop here. And we got the starter out. Starter is out. And basically the starter has to come out to gain access to the slave cylinder. Um, and I'll show you guys up underneath what I'm talking about. So starter's out, disconnect your battery first. Step one, everything looks good. Teeth on the starter, teeth on the flywheel. Well, good, since we had to crank start this car numerous times to get it here. So, underneath, this is what we're looking at. Starter goes here, slave cylinder is here. So now that we've got the starter out of the way, we can work on getting the slave cylinder out. It's two 13 bolts here with a 12 mil, I think it's a 12 mil line wrench on that hydraulic line that comes down. 
And then that's it. And then the hardest part's gonna be bleeding this thing. Cause air doesn't wanna go down, it wants to go up. So we'll see how that goes. All right, so we got the slave cylinder out and we're just kind of comparing. You can see the taking boot a, just oh, pressed yeah. it out. See, that's the new one. And then this here, it's all kind of, the boot around the piston looks okay, but around the actual seat in the casing, it looks like is where it, it failed. So that's where it was leaking from. Shout out to Aoife for asking, can I get a hold of one while you guys are driving here? And she was actually able to find one in stock, which is quite rare. They don't, they're specific to the 944 and 924. And uh, normally they're a couple days out. So it's really cool that uh, she was able to get one and it's here waiting and we can just do this now. And they're, they're spring loaded. So you kind of have to like get it lined up just right and like hold it in there when you put the bolts in. From what I've heard from Mr. Elliot from Mr. 944 Barn, Without a power bleeder, these are notoriously awful to bleed. So we're going to do a team effort here, and we're going to, as he said, one billion times. Pump, release, pump, release, pump, release, pump, release. And the second we get a little bit of pressure, which we may feel like it will never happen, that's the home stretch. So hopefully we get this thing bled. And we're driving this thing so Aoife can actually drive it for the first time. I'm scared. <laughs> no, it's out? The clutch it's is up, out? Up. It's up? Okay. Now press in, back out, back in, back out, back in. Oh, we're getting oh, some wow. more. No wow. way. Back out. Kayla, are you filming this? Yes, I am. It's, do you feel pressure already? Yes. All right, hold on. All right, back in. All right, back out. <laughs> What's so funny? Why are you laughing? There are three pumps. Yeah, he said it was going to be a billion times. <laughs> All right, to the floor. All right, back out. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow, that feels amazing. Yeah, that was quick. We pumped, we pumped that literally like five times and had a full pedal. Yeah. All right, well, I think we've got everything sorted. To the surprising delight, we did not have to pump it a billion times, like uh, Elliot said that sometimes you do have to. Um, we got a pedal pressure literally within four or five pumps, which is amazing. And then we, we just ran it through a dozen more times just to ensure that we weren't pushing any more air out of the line. Pedal feels great. Starter's back in. Everything's back together. So, yeah, we're going to set this thing down off the jack stands, and Aoife will drive it for the first time. <laughs> Here we go. You'll be fine. You're not going to stall it. Watch me stall it. <laughs> I might just do a loop around here. Yeah, go through some gears. Is that like, telling me to change gears? Yeah. Yeah, it's got a shift selector. That is cool. I feel like it lied to me, but... Yeah, yeah. and the air suspension rides so well in this car. Yeah, this is crazy. Okay. Wow, this thing's pretty sick. That Scout? Yeah. Wow. That they have a sick. bug, too. Like you were made so for it. Smooth. Yeah. This thing's it's awesome. Perfect. It's awesome. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's so well. It's it's so smooth. Yeah. Like that rides terribly compared to this. <laughs> <laughs> New daily. I'm glad you're for happy sale. with it. <laughs> I need a 924. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sylvia for sale. All right. So Justin went and got a box from his work because. I am going to be shipping all the tools I brought with me back to my house because we're flying to Vegas for SEMA from here tomorrow and then we're flying home from Vegas to Chattanooga. So I brought a pretty good socket set. I brought a tool bag with a test light and an airline and air fittings and all sorts of stuff. All right, so you could say this is our final last ride. Technically, we are headed to a car wash to wash the 94S, uh, since we haven't yet on this 2,000 mile drive. 
And then we're headed to the meet. We're doing uh, the last pop-up meet on this trip at In-N-Out Burger, same spot we held it at on the E23 trip a few years ago. All right guys, so it's the end of the Phoenix meet. And it was just kind of like a small hangout with a bunch of friends. Uh, got a chance to see some friends I hadn't seen in a few years and meet some new ones that I was either friends with on the internet or just met for the first time tonight. Uh, my buddy Keith Ross, Jared Houston, and uh, a few other good friends of mine that I hadn't seen in a while came out. So it was great to see them. Uh, Will showed up with the Gia, the low light Gia, which is static. That thing is just so cool. Quentin brought the 55 oval window, the 94 driving with a fresh slave cylinder in it, and the C107, this thing is so cool. I've always wanted a C107, and the more and more I see them in person, especially lowered, uh, makes me want one even more. They're like a long wheelbase R107, and they look so good. This like pillar that they add, this like the little window. Yeah, they're so, so cool. All right, so this is basically the end of my time with the 924S. It's been a fitting last uh, hurrah with the car uh, with what we've endured the last three days, uh, bringing it here. Not sure if this will become a, um, a usual scenario if we do more giveaway cars uh, where we drive it literally cross country to deliver it, especially if what the next giveaway car might be uh, comes to fruition, we might not drive that one cross country. And so we are officially leaving her off with the keys <laughs> to the Porsche <laughs> officially. And so she bought the key ring set as most of you guys who played along, we rolled number 166 and that was the winning number. So cool. If you guys bought a key ring set, I can't thank you enough for all the support, but it was an incredible trip. You know, Kayla was a champion with me in this car. It, it couldn't be going to a better home. Uh, we'll kind of give you guys a quick run around their uh, current fleet and stable. Justin's S13 is really cool. You guys saw that uh, last night when we first got here or two nights ago. So these were some custom free floating spacers uh, that Justin made at his shop because your dad owns a CNC yeah. shop. Yeah, we own a CNC shop here in Chandler. Insane. 
I mean, to be a car guy and have not just access to that kind of stuff, but know how to use yeah, it is exactly. incredible. So this is obviously the most, you know, the biggest project at the moment. IFA's daily, the BRZ or 86, FRS, whatever they, the Toyotas call them. Yeah. You guys just bought the Chaser uh, or, or Soar. Chaser. Chaser, yeah. yep. So they brought that to the meet last night. And then, uh, yeah, your brother's STI. Is it an STI or just it's a WRX? It's a WRX, but it's got STI everything. Yeah, yeah, and 440 horse. We saw that yesterday when Aoife took Kayla for a ride. Uh, wild rig. And, yeah, let's take a step out back real yeah, quick. Yeah. So in 2019, when I was driving the E23 cross country, we did a meet at that same in and out And Aoife was headed to the meet, which is like a 45-minute drive, in her Ford Anglia. And it overheated, and Justin had to come get her with their FJ80. And instead of coming back home, they flat towed it to the meet. I flat towed it. You flat towed it to yeah. the meet. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a passenger. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the rig here. Such a cool little car. I mean, even just the patina on the headlight bezels. Oh, it's so cool. And then the E30. It's been a bane of your existence yes, yeah, lately. Yeah, wiring wise, everything's a, a, just a mess in it. And then your dad's Mustang, which has a really cool story because her parents are from Ireland and the car originated from New Jersey, went to Ireland. He bought it in Ireland while it was broken. Ah. And he, nobody, all these people are like, ah, we don't know what to do with it, don't know. And my dad's like, I got it. And he took, he bought it and fixed it. Yep, okay. No so one else it out. So he bought it in Ireland yeah. and drove it in Ireland. Yeah. And then shipped it here and now it's here outside of phoenix arizona so he's plans to put this back on the road again huh mm -hmm. that's awesome hopefully after almost 50 years i know such a <laughs> such a cool era mustang too the porsche clearly came to a, a car family and it's so cool to see it here with the rest of their cars it does feel surreal i mean i know Eva and justin feel oh, super yeah. surreal <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> It's not even here. <laughs> All day long, even yesterday, Aoife was like, I can't believe it's like not leaving. Like it's here. I can't be happier for him. She's over the moon. So as I mentioned before, this isn't a business model I'm starting. If I do more giveaway cars, which there is another one that will hopefully be acquired in the next month. So more on that. Stay tuned on that. I'm super excited about the next one. But we won't be driving at 2,000 miles uh, to the giveaway winner. You don't know that. More than likely, yeah. You don't know that. Anything's possible. I am a glutton for punishment, as you guys already know. So yes, anything's possible. Uh, but first Ludwig's Garage giveaway, uh, I'm kind of at a loss of words because it's something I've always wanted to do. I've always been nervous to do it. Uh, it's just been an awesome experience and I'm super grateful to all of you guys for all of the support and can't wait to do it again and involve all of you guys in more ways than one. So. We made it, super thankful. Uh, we fly to SEMA tonight, or we fly to Vegas tonight for SEMA this upcoming week. It's been, <laughs> yeah, it's been a long, Surreal. it's been a long few days. Um, if you have a 924 or a 944, hit the road, just go. Um, they're incredibly stout cars. The last 500 miles with no clutch, crank starting it in gear and just synchro shifting it everywhere we went. Um, they are robust, so. Hit the road, go adventure in those cars. We will see them again soon. Can't wait to see what they do with the car and to just see her drive it and enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for watching and for being a part of this whole journey with the car. The next giveaway car will be in the shop soon. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and follow them on Instagram and see what they do with the Porsche. And we will see you guys in the next episode, which will be from Vegas. We'll show you guys what we see and who we see at SEMA. We'll see you guys in the next episode.